good morning. I'm vlogging. So I am just eating a plum right now. I should probably put it down actually because it's very juicy. Oh my God. Welcome to a new vlog. I actually filmed a few clips yesterday because Josh and I went to Disney Springs. Um, but I didn't ever have like a proper intro to my vlog, my first vlog back in a long, long time. So I thought I would just say hi this morning and um, let you know that I'm vlogging again. I did not feel like washing my hair, which is why it's in this like slicked back sort of bun that I never really wear, but I wore it yesterday too because dirty hair days, you know? So Josh and I went to Disney Springs yesterday just for kind of a little date. We just like wanted to get out of the house. Disney Springs is doing such a good job of making people feel safe and i think they're taking a lot of really good precautions like they take your temperature before you go in you're not allowed in without a mask and if you don't have one they'll give you one um there's hand sanitizer everywhere so we did a little shopping walked around a bit got some sorbet from this gelato place mm, 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 mm. wow mm. i'll go ahead and insert all the clips from our disney springs day right now we are at disney springs doing a little bit of shopping on a Sunday. Um, we're at Zara. I found a cute dress. Okay, here's what I... What? We're trying on clothes at Zara in the mirror, just on top of our regular clothes because the fitting rooms are closed. I'm smiling. This is a no, this is a no. I wanted to try on this pink dress, but I think it's gonna be see-through. Green mask, green shirt, green pants. These are the times we're living in, people. Quite big. Yeah. They're huge. Let's say they're 31. Can't be 31. They're huge. Just got this little romper for Caribe. There's a lot of things you're trying to do. If you play your cards right. Babe. when um, I ate some bad trash can nachos, as they call them, from Guy Fieri at his uh, Cancun airport <laughs> restaurant. Let me tell you about three hey, minutes after that donkey today and is on the front lines helping fight COVID as a resident in Chicago. And welcome back. So we had so much fun doing a little shopping. While we were shopping, as you could see, we had to like try on the clothes, which actually wasn't allowed. So I kind of felt bad because after we were pretty much done, this guy came up and was like, um, you can't do that. And we were like, sorry but i basically bought a whole bunch of stuff that i wasn't totally sure about because obviously if you can't try it on how can you be sure that you're gonna like it i thought i would do like an actual real try on haul um for the vlog because i haven't even tried on the stuff yet so i have to try it on for myself see what i want to keep i got this at uniqlo i'm definitely keeping this i think it's so cute to wear like to the beach or for a pool day or just around the house I'm trying really hard not to make every 
shirt that I buy, every t-shirt that I buy, and two pajamas or like loungewear because that just always happens. But yeah, I really like this one. Now on the back, it says, don't be such a guppy flounder or something like that. I'm sure you can see better than I can. <laughs> It's super cute because Zara and Uniqlo both have a lot of like really cute Disney themed clothes with like a lot of princesses on them and Mickey and I just, I just love it because I love Disney. I am such a Disney kid. I grew up going to Disney like once a week because we had season passes so my mom would just take us there all the time. Um, very spoiled, I know. Anyway, I'm going to finish my plum and then I'm going to try on all these clothes and we'll figure out what I'm keeping and what not to keep. Mm -hmm. I've got quite a few things on my to-do list today, so we will see where the day takes us. I'm gonna try to remember to vlog as much as possible, but I'm excited. Okay, so I got these shorts and I'm definitely gonna return them because there's just something about them that is so unflattering. They actually, I rolled them up. They're actually quite long. I, I got them because they're so comfortable and I really like the material, but yeah, you can see they're they're not gonna, it's not gonna work. I feel like this style of short would look good on like a very tall, slender person and I'm neither of those. So I don't think they're, they're very flattering for me, but they're so comfortable. But anyway, I'm gonna definitely return these, but I love my t-shirt. 100% mermaid. I just think it's really cute. I've always loved the little mermaid and mermaid things in the water and things like that, but it's just really comfy and I like the oversized sleeves. So I'm keeping this for sure. Okay, another fail. <laughs> I got this skirt because I thought it would be really comfy and easy to throw on with like a cute t-shirt and it just kind of looks like I'm in a cult. So no. Okay, next outfit. I think this is really cute. I actually got these jeans a few weeks ago at Zara though, so it still fits this little haul. Um, this t-shirt is so cute and it's so comfortable. It's just very simple, just a plain white t-shirt. I might even crop it, I don't know, we'll see. But I can tie it in a little knot or tuck it. And this is the cute little Mickey detail on the pocket. Um, but, I'm a huge fan of these jeans. They're just like really baggy and fun. They've got like the paper bag fit. But yes, definitely gonna keep this little t-shirt. It'll be really cute for like a day at Disney, or just everyday life. Okay, another fail. I don't know. I thought these could be cool. They're like flowy pants that kind of look like a skirt. <laughs> I certainly wouldn't wear it with this shirt, but I'm just, they're just not flattering. They make my legs look massive. I even put heels on to try to help the situation, but it's a no for me. These are gonna go back. I'm afraid it's another fail. So I put on sneakers just to see what it looks like, but when I bought this, I didn't realize that it had this like weird cape kind of situation going on here. I do love that it has pockets. And my idea originally with this was that I could wear it kind of as a nightgown or even like for a day at Disney, just a cute like throw on midi dress with sneakers but i don't like how high the neck is and it's just not the most flattering um so yeah if it didn't have the weird little cape situation i might think about keeping it but i think i'm gonna give it back but this is why i bought it how adorable are these little mini faces i wish they made a t-shirt like this because i love how cute the little mini faces are but Okay, this one is similar to the other dress. It doesn't have a cape and it's just plain, a nice dark gray color, but I just think, I love that it has pockets, that's amazing. And it looks cute like this, right? Like I think that looks cute. But when it's straight on, it's just not flattering once again, <laughs> at all. So it could be cute with like a belt or something, but I don't know, I think I'm probably gonna return this one too. I'm not having the best luck here, you guys. <sighs> oh well, next. Okay, we finally have a winner. I think this is so cute. This is a dress from Zara. I like the cute little puffy sleeve detail. It's almost like a trench coat kind of material. And then it just has these little black buttons that go all the way down. And I think it's actually kind of cute with my 
sneakers. I need a bit of a tan, I feel like. And also I think it'd be cuter with my hair down, but I like this dress. It's very comfy, cute, easy to throw on. Just like a simple little cutesy dress. Let me put heels on and see what it looks like with my little black heels. I also like the way it looks with these heels. Very cute. I'm excited about this dress. I think I'll get a lot of wear out of it this summer. What am I doing with my leg? I don't know. <laughs> okay, lastly, I got this headband scarf thing. Not entirely sure how I feel about the headband. I might like it better with my hair down. At the moment, it's looking a little, I don't know, too much. But there we have it. That's everything I got at Zara and Uniqlo Disney Springs yesterday. Hope you enjoyed this little try on haul. Um, a little bit sad, the only things I'm keeping are this dress, probably this headscarf if I can figure out how to wear it, and then the two t-shirts, the mermaid t-shirt and the Mickey Mouse t-shirt. So it was not a complete fail, but yeah. Anyway, I gotta go return that stuff sometime this week and maybe I'll find some more stuff, who knows? Okay, I'm back in my comfy mermaid t-shirt and I'm just gonna get some work done, I think. It's looking really stormy outside. It pretty much storms every single day here in Florida in the summer, and then it passes really fast. So I'm hoping it storms now so that by the time Josh gets back from work, we can go outside and play badminton because I'm obsessed with badminton this summer. We have a badminton um, net in our backyard and it has made the summer so much fun. I've never really played badminton like growing up or like ever really, but it's just, the best game. My brother and sister-in-law have been coming over almost every night when we're home and we play badminton together and it's so fun and it's actually a really good workout so I love it. Um, so hopefully we can play that tonight. I would, I, I look forward to it every single day so as long as it's not raining we're good to go. But yeah for now I'm probably just gonna make myself a coffee or something and get some work done, maybe make a little snack. I haven't really had much to eat today yet. Yesterday at Disney Springs we got poutine which is, if you don't know what it is, it's basically just fries covered in gravy and cheese. And it is the most delicious thing you'll ever eat in your life. Anyway, Josh and I got some yesterday at Disney Springs and I also had ice cream twice yesterday. So I'm trying to, you know, get back on track. It's Monday, try to eat a little healthier this week. What is happening with my hair? Also, I realized I never addressed the fact that I'm filming on my iPhone. Um, it's because I sold all my other cameras when I stopped vlogging and I wanna make sure that I'm serious about vlogging before I buy a new camera again because they're a little pricey. So, sorry, it's really hard too because I'm always looking at myself and not the lens. I know that's probably annoying. Um, anyway, that's, that's why I'm on my phone vlogging, but we will see if I keep this up and I do like at least one month, maybe two months of consistent vlogging posting a video every week, then maybe I will treat myself to a real camera, a real vlogging camera, because the quality is way better on a real camera. iPhone quality really isn't bad at all. I think the only difference is the audio sometimes is a little weird, um, and also like dark scenes. Like this, since the light's not directly on me, I feel like it looks a little grainy. Whereas if I go this way, it looks much better. This, you guys, our place is really small. And this coffee table is basically like a lot of storage underneath it. So it looks a little messy sometimes, but it's fine. We're working with what we got. Just like me and my iPhone <laughs> filming. It just started pouring rain. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can. It's like a sun shower. And look at these birds. These are our friends. That's a baby one. He was literally tiny, tiny little yellow chick like a month ago. And that's his mom or dad and they like live in the backyard. They're always back here. And that's our badminton set. <laughs> There's the other parent over there. I really do love a rainy day. It's so cozy. I almost forgot to mention, we got this precious little romper. Look how cute it is in the back. It's from Zara and it's for my little niece, Karibe. She's so precious and it might be a little big for her right now. It's supposed to be six to nine months and she's seven months but she's kind of tiny, so she can grow into it if it doesn't fit her right now, but it's just so sweet. I love it. I just love buying things for her. I really can't help myself when I see something cute for her. I literally have to buy it and nothing can stop me, so 
you'll probably know the struggle if you're a, an auntie. Got myself some cherries to snack on. This is for the pits. And I'm about to light my candle and I thought I would just share it with you because this is my favorite, favorite candle right now. It is called Marshmallow Fireside. It's White Barn. They just reopened our White Barn or like Bath and Body Works store the other day. Um, and they had a big sale. So I went and got a couple candles, but this is the best because it's sweet, but it's also, hang on, you need to see my face. Okay, I thought I would flip the camera around so you can actually see me and you're not just staring at a candle. But this is one of my favorite candles of all time, Marshmallow Fireside. If you like sweet candles, you'll like this, but also if you like woodsy kind of, I don't know, masculine candles, you'll like it because it's a mix of both. Kind of toasted and marshmallowy, but it's also smoky. It's also really smoky and like masculine. So it's such a nice balance. It smells so good. So good. It's a little bit later now and this red dot is gonna bother me, but it's just a zit that I just tried to pop. So. I was just sitting down to edit this vlog and I realized that my computer was not charging. I had like 11% left and my computer just won't charge like with the plug-in. Um, and this seems to be a problem <laughs> with the Apple, the new Apple cords. They last literally like three months for me anyway. I don't know what it is or why, but um, my other cord broke probably about three months ago. So when my cord broke a few months ago, my husband Josh ordered me off of Amazon some Apple cords. They're supposed to be authentic Apple cables. He's walking in the door now from work. Hey Josh, I'm vlogging. You're interrupting my clips. You're gonna have to turn your podcast off so I can continue vlogging, please. I was just explaining how you ordered me these cords oh. a few months ago when my thing broke. What does it work? And they accidentally, I haven't tried yet actually. Josh ordered me these cords, which are supposed to be authentic Apple cables. Um, he, or he ordered me one, he thought. But Amazon, the warehouse, I guess they messed up and they sent us a whole box. How many are in they here? They sent you one box. Two, four, six, eight, ten. They sent us ten for the price of one which was amazing. They messed up. They're supposed to just send this little guy and they sent a whole box of them, which has 10 in it, which we're kind of like, mm, should we send them back? And then I was like, actually no, because these things break all the time and I'm going to use them. <laughs> and so yeah, it's just, this is the exact cable that I need. Um, but yeah, my, my cable just stopped working today, randomly in the middle of the day. And I called Josh and I was like, babe, we have to order a new cable. And he's like, no, remember last time they sent us like 10. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. So I went into the closet and found them. So we will see if this doesn't work, I'm gonna be really sad because that means I have to buy the whole other part of the charger, which is more expensive and I won't be able to get to me till tomorrow or the next day. So let's hope this works so I can continue editing and get this vlog out ASAP. Oh my god, babe. It's not working. It's not charging still. I tried different ports. I tried all the ports. With the new one? Yeah, this is a new one. Oh, not the new one, but why would it not? And Josh just unplugged this part and plugged it back in, and it started working. So now I'm thinking my old cord probably still works. <laughs> but either way, I'm glad it's finally charging. All right, I've got all my badminton clothes, got my water, and I'm ready to go play. It is such a pretty night. Wow. Evening. What you doing, baby? Cutting this because water seems to store up in there whenever it rains. Yeah? And it makes it droopy? Yeah. I'm trying to... washed my hair after like four days um Josh made me some tea I thought I would just end the vlog here 
because it seems like it's getting pretty long already. I, I thought I would vlog all week, but it's only been two days and I think I've got a long enough vlog. So we had fun playing badminton. Oh, I remember this little story earlier because my 100% mermaid shirt reminded me of it. It's about why I think I love the shirt so much. And okay, this is probably gonna be a lame story, but anyway, when I was little, I was probably like three or four, my mom told me that if I stuck my foot in the toilet, I would turn into a mermaid. So I obviously would stick my foot in the toilet probably every day trying to become a mermaid. And here I am. You heard that story, Josh. You've heard that story. Anyway, I think that's why I love my mermaid shirt so much and I just always wanted to be a mermaid. So I thought I would just leave you and end the vlog out with that little story. Maybe it brightened your day. I was a gullible little child. Thanks mom for that. <laughs> but I'm just gonna finish my tea and go to good night's sleep. I think it's only like 10.30 right now. So I'm probably gonna get in bed, maybe read a little bit, maybe watch some YouTube and go to sleep. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one very soon.